Well, I mean, there wasn't a – I mean, you know, when you say mistakes, obviously mistakes are part of the game. The turnovers, you know, the – the we have to hold the ball in, in much more regard. You know, obviously you can't do that uh, and, and think you're going to win. That's what I appreciate about this team is that they battle and make it so hard on ourselves. It was kind of a tale of two halves today. Was, I mean, what was beside the time was the second half? I mean, we moved the ball on them and we turned the ball over and stopped them when they got turnovers. And pretty much... Uh, you know, I well, appreciate the way the defense played. I thought they played. They flew around. We moved the ball offensively. We were fishing on third down. Unfortunately, just turned the football over and had some and had some penalties. Right. You talked a great deal about the turnovers when you had the nine in the, in the two games. You recovered a little bit there against Jacksonville. Obviously, is there a failure for guys to get the message, or what, what do you think is going on? I don't know. Like, what was your view of the, the, the last play there? Initially, they have... well, initially, the ball was spotted where they, they spotted it. And then the you know, replay assist comes in, New York comes in, and then, you know. You get a good look at the replay and everything? Hmm? What do you think of the call? The call is the call. But they, they had a bunch of guys looking at it, a bunch of people looking at it, and said he was short. What do you think of the two calls on Fulton on the, on the touchdown job that they had, particularly a personal foul? I mean, it's, it's part of the game. Penalties are part of the game. Um, you know, Jeff got the personal foul on the quarterback, and, um, you know, we just got, you know, he knows that, that, that they're protected, and he just has to try to, you know, try to swipe at his leg if he's fallen. Touched on the defense, but you think they kind of kept you in it? You mm-hmm. kept of course. Goals and- yeah, I mean they're 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 starting to figure out that you know they're going to play defense wherever they put the ball down at. Um, you know we could have been better uh, inside the one. You know on the third down, and stopped them two downs. Uh, but they're fi- they're they're starting to develop a a mentality and an attitude that they'll go out there and play defense wherever they have to. Mike, after the tough loss, how big a challenge is turnaround play here in, in four days? Yep, yeah, you know I think that that's uh, you know. I, I love our football team. I love the, the type of people that they are and the character that they have. And we'll just have to, you know, get home, get some rest, uh, give them a plan, and, and try to get their bodies back and, and their minds back as fast as we possibly can for Thursday. Do you feel like this one kind of got away from you in the second, just with all the turnovers and, and everything? Um, no, not got away. Sure. No, I, it didn't look like that to me. It, it uh, looked like we we came up a few inches short on on fourth down. Um, Overcame a lot, you know. So, does it feel like Brian's kind of pressing because of the turnovers the amount that you guys have when they snowball like that? Um, yeah, I mean the guy made a good play on the on the one over there, and then we've turned it over, we fumbled it, you know, and then um, you know, we got to protect them. We got some guys open, try to hit, hit some shots down the field, and you know, continue to um, have to find ways to protect. Like you said. The Yeah, I mean, I think that's the story of, of everybody. You know, that just we don't have front runners. We don't have guys that are going to complain. Um, they compete, and, and I and I appreciate that out of them. I, and I enjoy coaching them, and and know that we're always going to have a shot. You know, it may not uh, be very pretty, but there's guys out there competing, working, um, and and fighting for each other. How, how disappointing is it to lose Julio again? To the well, it's just disappointing to lose. I mean, it's just, I mean, we we worry about we we concern ourselves with with everybody's health, you know, no no different than anybody else, whether it's somebody's ankle or shoulder. You know, just disappointing to lose. Was he open at all when he was out there? I'm sorry. Was he open at all when he was out there? You only threw him one time. I don't know, Paul. I gotta watch the tape. What's that, Joe? Yeah, how much to follow up on the Julio, how much did that affect things having the you know, races in there moving to the right. We're ready for anything that comes up. That's our job is to be ready to make sure that there's guys out there that are uh, ready to go. Uh, whether they had a lot of reps in practice or didn't have a whole lot of reps, you know, those things happen and, and we're used to it and uh, and I know that we're ready for it. You guys contained uh, Najee Harris and Steelers running game considerably. Was that kind of the focus in the game? Did they try to take him away and then force the Steelers to try no, to No, we didn't. We knew that 
they probably I mean, we didn't think they'd run the ball on us you know all their runs were jet sweeps razzle dazzles on the outside and um yeah didn't do you know didn't think that the run game was going to be an issue Mike, talk about your defense in the red zone, that bend, don't break mentality after the Steelers had multiple turnovers and had a self-control. Yeah, well, some of them, we didn't really have a chance to bend. They started with the ball down there, right? So, I think they played pretty well defensively, you know, kept us in it, and uh, yeah. offense came down there at the end, and you know, just came up a little bit short, but they, you know, I thought they played together. I thought they played fast. Um, we still got to start getting some more turnovers.